What up, everybody? I'm just uh, doing some sketching right now on a digital commission. Uh, if you can't really tell, it's actually of the whole fucking show, Rob Van Dam. Doing a, uh, I did a contest over the summer, and I'm finally getting around to getting to it, and I want it done and out of my hair. So I can start 2018, fresh, new, just focus on the new stuff. Oh, my dog is going, yawn crazy on me. So right now I'm on my uh, Clip Studio Paint. All I'm doing is just using a G pen and just inking away just getting all the line work i did this all i sketched it all in pencil scanned it in and here i am working on the inks and it's, this piece is just going to be in black and white i'm just doing just doing this as kind of like a thank you for some of my followers who entered the contest i had two winners so they're they are going to be getting all this. So if you want to join in on some of that kind of fun, follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Uh, Rad Pencils. You can actually get it all on radpencils.com. All that information on where you want to go to join in. So this is going to be my first major YouTube video tutorial I'm still in the process of getting a proper tripod for this new webcam that I just purchased so until then it's sitting on a roll of green papers tape on top of a box on top of my big ass scanner and if you're already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing like i said this is what the majority of my channel is going to be with you know more or less better quality kind of stuff maybe do some edits you may actually probably hear me a little bit better because i don't know how the how this mic is going to work on the camera uh, but i will trust me i will be getting a mic a proper one for the for these uh videos so just gotta bear with me I think a lot of us got wiped out during the holidays, so we'll save up. And I really don't like that line, so I'll just undo it. I'm just going to bring down my pen just a little bit, just so I can get a nice crisper line. There we go, looks a little bit better. Put the knuckles in there. Oh, actually, I'll just put a copy tone. Just a copy tone just to kind of give it the shade. Let's put some X's in there so at least I know what to do when I come back. Fill in the blacks. So, yeah, uh, if you don't know who this is, this is a Rob Van Dam, uh, ECW legend and w, former WWE heavyweight champ. Uh, he's mostly an indie guy now. He hasn't been in the WWE for a while, and he actually said just recently he can't be in the WWE anymore because he's um, he has an injury that will um, stop him from being able to be cleared by a WWE doctor. So I think you've seen the last of Rob Van Dam on WWE TV for a while. So what I'm going to do here, just to make it easier, I'm going to put this using the Curve app to kind of give it a little bit of a proper line. Yeah, that looks, that looks way better than I do could. Let me just do it freehand. I like to do it freehand, but sometimes I like to keep it easy. I'm fucked up. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. 
Come on. Okay, we'll undo that line. Just do a continuous curve. Donezo. Sweet, looks good to me. And again, this is just a quick sketch for my contest winners that entered. It was actually just a it was just a fun little caption contest that I did on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't really enter it, but whatever. These two guys did, and they came up with some funny stuff. So I thought, okay, it was only supposed to be one. One winner, but since those two are are big followers of mine and they like all my stuff, I thought, oh, why not? I'll give them, I'll give it to them. They can, they can do it. So I'm doing, like I said, one guy requested Rob Van Dam, and then another guy requested uh, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. So he is going to be next. That one a bit thicker. I have to configure my pen a little bit more. It's not being as nice as it used to be. I had to reset my entire computer and all the stuff that I did before because it the computer crapped out on me. So at this stage, it's kind of like I have to start brand new. It's nothing that it's nothing bad. Just it's not as precise as I like it to be. I said I'll have to play around with that. I'm not the most computer friendly guy. I don't like any of those lines, so I'm getting rid of those. So yeah, to do, you know, computer stuff isn't really my favorite thing. I like getting in there with ink and pencils and brushes and do it by hand. But this stuff, this stuff is the wave of the future, man. So I mean, I gotta, gotta get used to it. And there's some guys who can do some amazing stuff digitally. So I mean, I gotta... I gotta pick up the pace. <laughs> I'm no slouch to it, but I'm not at where I want to be. And I can't really help it because a lot of the commissions and a lot of things I get call for uh, call for my traditional skills. So. I offered this digitally just because oh, it would probably save a lot of time. I wouldn't have to ship it. I can just literally email this to my fans and they get it in no time. In no time means a couple months later because <laughs> I'm terrible. Not that terrible. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think I am. And I don't, I, I, maybe some people who have done this before, like, is it weird to talk to yourself as you draw? Because I'm, I'm home alone. Uh, my dog, R2, is on the floor right now, just kind of staring at me, thinking, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He was looking at a computer screen, not looking at me. I'm sure a lot of dog, dog owners have that kind of feeling. But uh, since this is my first time drawing... Well, somewhat live in front of people or well, in front of viewers who will probably see this, you know, a little bit along the way. I like that line. It's weird to uh, have a commentary track while I draw because it's the drawing is usually a very solitary thing. I'm putting the thicker line here because this is where the least amount of light will be reflecting against it against the figure so I want it to be as 
Jark is like can and it's thick. Put another thick line there just to give it that at the edge. That line there looks like shit. There we go. And I'm sure there's probably huge, like I'm probably doing this like a Neanderthal because I don't know any better. But this is how I like to do it. If there's a better way, yeah, please tell me. If I'm, if I'm doing this funny way that, you know, some other more experienced guys can do it better and I'm just a schmuck who doesn't know it any better, yeah, tell me. Tell me what I'm doing. If there's a better way to do it, then I'm all ears. Zoom out. So that's what it's looking right now. I'll just get rid of the pencils. So yeah, it's not looking too too bad. Put a little bit of musculature on his right arm. Let's see what that looks like. Finish off the next part of his singlet. And try it with curve right up here. Put it right down there. Try to line it up and boom, done. And believe it or not, learning those things I learned not too long ago actually. I've had this program, Clip Studio now and Manga Studio from before for a long, 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 long time. And I just learned a lot of the stuff that can be done. I'm actually going to get rid of that hatching right there. It looks funky. Okay. Yeah, so I just learned a lot of that kind of stuff um, just recently. Like I said, I'm uh, not a fan of computer stuff. But I like it regardless. And still, it would take me a bit to learn all this stuff. Right now, I'm just going in over the lines just to see where light is hitting it, where I should put more shadow. Uh, I'm not looking forward to drawing a singlet because that's going to be a lot of stuff to do. I'm just going to fill in the blacks here because why not? I'm here. I'm at this stage. The line work is ready to go. All right. I am going to blacken his hair and I'm going to put in more of a shine and shimmer to it because he actually has brown hair. Not black, so I'll just put a little bit of shine just to make it feel like it's something cool. I actually gonna keep those lines there, it just gives it a little bit of a you can tell the difference where his hair hair on top of his head meets the ponytail. And what I'm gonna do just go like this. One continuous splotch. Thinner lines here just because the hair thins a bit on the sides. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna fill in that long little spot there that I've lined. And then let's go over here, fill in the black on his wrist tape. Beautiful. 
All right, I'm going to zoom out. You can see the progress. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm just going to finish up this singlet a little bit later. I'm just going to go do a little bit here, but I just wanted to uh, give this a test run and to see what you guys think. Uh, thank you. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos uh, very soon. Thank you and take care.